Welcome to the Flying Circus of Physics. Hi, I'm Gerald Walker. I'm one of the physics professors here at Cleveland State University, a really great school. I've been here 48 years. I want to show you something that you've seen your entire life, but maybe didn't pay much attention to. I've got some dark circles here. Really exciting stuff, huh? I've got some more dark circles here. I'm going to lay the this set of dark circles down in the other set, and I want to show you something. And what do I get? Surprise, surprise, I get dark circles. Boring stuff. And now, watch. I'm going to move the top layer slightly, either rotating or displacing left or right or up and down, and you get a moiré pattern. Dark bands cross over like waves on an ocean. But I want to bring in two helpers. Richard and Jordan. So what exactly is causing this? Well, if I move this, this orientation, the dark circles on top are lined up with some of the white areas underneath. And I get a dark band where I have that kind of dark on white alignment. And if I move the pattern, where that alignment occurs changes. And so the bands move across the pattern, the moiré pattern. Richard, I've given you some sheets here with looks like fine circles. Let's see what you can get. So we can see if I have them aligned very precisely, you don't see too much of a pattern, but if I misalign it even just a little bit, we have this bow tie pattern forming. And as I rotate it around, that bow tie pattern moves around as well. In industry, they will use this to so they can see very slight rotations that otherwise would not be visible to the human eye. And Jordan, what have you got? Um, without them overlapping, it looks like just a set of parallel lines. But when I start to move them, start to see these wave patterns appear. That's cool moiré patterns. Yes, it's very, very trippy looking. Yeah, I'm getting dizzy. Yes. So can we see examples of this in real life and not just on paper? Yes, you've seen it all your life. Picket fence behind a picket fence, screen behind another screen like with screen doors, you'll see a moiré pattern, especially if you're moving. I'm going to show you an example out of my home office. Here's some waste paper baskets out of my home office. Now, you got one screen in front of another screen creating a moiré pattern. But I can show you even better moiré patterns if I put one basket inside the other. They move. I got one more example, but we need to move to a different part of the campus to see it. I want to show you something here in the new building for the College of Engineering. It's looking out this window. You've got these stripes on the window, and you've got vertical texture on the adjacent wall over here. And if you stand here, you're not going to see anything, but you have to move, and then you've got a moving more A pattern that's really eye-catching. So if I rock back and forth, I can keep it alive in my perception. And it's very arresting. I was walking through here and suddenly something caught my eyes. What, what, what just happened? I get occasional alignment of the stripes on the window with the vertical structure on the adjacent wall. And the pattern moves. So here I was during the pandemic, rocking back and forth when security came through the building. And I had explained a little bit of physics. Well, thanks for coming here today. Just remember, physics is everywhere, even with picket fences, screens, lines on a window. Physics is everywhere. See you again next time.